Okay, so the standard methods for putting data into an array list and taking data out of an array list, there's obviously add, and there's two different add methods. We say it's overloaded. You can then remove things. If I say my list dot remove, you can remove whatever is in the to index. That should be zebra. You can simply get whatever is in there. Let's say, hey, now that I've removed what's in the to index, let's go see what's in the to index. The get method does not take the item out of the array list, it just accesses it for us. Then we can set. Now the set method is very interesting. The set method does two things at the same time. I'm going to go in and say my list.set in the zero index. So it's going to do two things. First of all, it mutates the array. So this is going to go into the zero index. Currently Apple is in the zero index. It's going to delete Apple and replace that with the string yesterday. So yesterday will be in the zero index after this line is finished. Now it also does something else. It returns whatever was replaced. So by putting yesterday in the zero slot, we are replacing the string apple. So this little line of code becomes the string apple. This is very handy because frequently when you're replacing something, you want to ask what it was that, what, that you replaced. So that's a handy thing. So remove, get, set. One interesting thing is uh, array lists use a size method. So if I wanted to, for example, fluke through this, I would have to say int index is less than my list. My list uses size. But just remember that if you're asking how many items are in an array list, you have to ask for its size. And then we will say, what should we do in here? System.out. And we need to go in and get my list.get whatever is in the index location. All right, let's see if this all works. So first I added all these in. This is the first thing that I printed up here on the top line. I my list dot removed two. That's what the zebra is. You'll see that zebra is in the two index. Then I went and I got whatever was in the two index. You'll see that when I remove zebra, as I did right here, cat slid down and dog slid down. So the size decreases and all of the items that are in higher indexes than the removed item slide down to the left. So cat is now in the two index. The next thing I did was I went and I set the zero index to yesterday, which then removes apple. And that's why apple is being printed up right here because I'm printing whatever gets removed by the set method. And then I have a little floop, and I'm printing out all the items in the list separated by commas, which are yesterday, banana, cat, and dog.